While the San Francisco 49ers have been pretty banged up, losing players on both sides of the football, it does appear that they are gearing up to get one player back right here. Jonathan Feliciano took to Twitter this morning and posted a SpongeBob gif saying, I'm ready. I'm ready. And as you know, Feliciano has been on injured reserve since uh, the beginning of the season. So he hasn't been active for any game, and this will be his potential to return to the active roster. So it'll be interesting to see if that does come through this week, but it also will be interesting to see where Feliciano slots into the offensive line. Obviously, your starting offensive line as it stands right now is Trent Williams, Aaron Banks at left guard, Jake Brendel, Dominic Pooney, and Colton McKivitz. Now, in training camp, when Jonathan Feliciano was dealing with a knee injury and he did have to miss some time, that is really when uh, Pooney just took over that right guard spot. And the big indication that he was going to be the starter moving forward was that when Feliciano returned to practice, he played the backup role to Dominic Pooney at right guard. So I don't expect Feliciano to come in and surplant uh, Dominic Pooney as the starter. So it does feel like his best shot at getting on the field is either through the center position or at left guard. So it'll be interesting. Now, while Jake Brendel has really, he has stepped up his game over the last three weeks compared to the first two. And then you have Aaron Banks, who's been real up and down for the majority of the season. It'll be interesting to see what the 49ers ultimately decide. However, I do expect against the Chiefs that the 49ers will probably keep the same five out there. And then if there are any struggles or any issues, then it'll be up to Forrester and Kyle Shanahan to make the decision of if they want to put Feliciano in at either center or left guard. But it does seem like Dominic Pooney has a stranglehold on that right guard spot. I don't think he will be giving up that spot to anyone as it currently stands. Um, obviously, Banks was a little bit banged up during that game against Seattle where Spencer Burford stepped in for him. So I don't know. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what the 49ers offensive line looks like at the end of the season. But it is a good sign that you get one of your best uh, depth interior offensive linemen back who has the potential to be a starter. Obviously, it'll be interesting to see if he actually is worked in as a starter or they just kind of keep them, uh, you know, available. And, you know, in case, you know, someone struggles, then they put them in or not. But it'll be fascinating to see, especially with Chris Jones coming to town with the Kansas City Chiefs. A, you know, big test for the 49ers, Carl Loftus. Uh, they have some, some pretty solid defensive linemen and edge rushers. So the 49ers are going to have to be on point on the offensive line. So it is a good sign that Jonathan Feliciano is uh, potentially, like we're assuming, we're speculating that this is him saying that, yeah, there's a good chance I'm going to return. But uh, we'll see. We shall see uh, what the 49ers ultimately do and if they shuffle anything uh, in regards to their starting lineup, we will have to find out. But let me know what you guys think about this do you where do you think that uh jonathan feliciano should play uh, should he take over someone's spot let me know what you guys think in the comments below and as always make sure to like and subscribe for more updates